Hi everyone, this is Matos of Smain speaking. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna start our next lesson, which is lesson 14. And now Ember and Ted heat up the kitchen. Now they're trying to prepare for their own cookies. So please get ready to live with what we can get from Ember and Ted. Ember and Ted are now in the kitchen trying to bake cookies and uh, of course Amber is trying to ask Ted uh, to give her a kiss but Ted tells her he's too busy which means he's, he indulged with the business and he's very busy preparing the cookies. Then he feels guilty, he feels so bad he's not actually um, replying back to her and give her a kiss and goes to her but suddenly they are not alone. So someone else have come into the middle of such thing and they have a problem with that. All right, um, before we start this conversation, you have to know that there are some uh, expressions that you need to understand before you go into a conversation. And this is exactly, if you go down at the bottom of the conversation, you'll definitely find the idioms are defined here. Uh, the first idiom here is break up with, break up with someone is to end, is to put an end. It's make it over the relationship with a romantic partner. So you have your boyfriend, you have your girlfriend, you had a wife, or you have a, a husband, you put an end for this. We say we break up with, we break up with. And definitely example one and two are very good examples for uh, such idiom. And uh, here's Nicole's boyfriend told her he didn't want to see her anymore. And she replied, I can't believe you're breaking up with me. She can't understand why he is breaking up with her, why he is putting an end to a relationship with her. So breaking up is something that has to do more with ending a relationship. Example number two is after dating her boyfriend, Dan, for four years, Erica finally decided to break up with him break up with him to put an end to make it over to come an end uh, very fast you go back to the second idiom which is crank out crank out means to produce more rapidly to produce more rapidly and or in a routine manner so you keep repeating it in the same manner keep doing it all every day in the same way every single day and this is, for example, here, last night, Nicole cranked out, produced 200 signs for her campaign. So she always does 200 signs in a routine manner. Every single day, she does the same thing every day. So example number two, we just bought a new printer at work, but can it can crank out 20 pages per minute. So she can do 20 pages every single day in a repeatedly manner. Uh, crunch time, the same as crunch numbers, the same thing. So a short period of when there's high pressure to achieve a result. So you do have a very, very little limited time. And then you actually, with a lot of pressure on you, so much work to do. At the same time, you need to achieve a good result. So the entire month of December is a crunch time for Santa Claus. For example, the end of the last month of the semester will be a crunch time for students. Why? Because they have to do a lot of work, they have to revise a lot of stuff and a lot of materials before they go into the exam. May is crunch time for many students and it is when they have their final exams. Of course, when you have final exams, you have to read a lot, you have to write, to revise a lot, you have to um, summarize a lot of things before you go into the final exams and it's going to be a crunch time for you. So when someone asks you here with the examination mark, would give me a break, give me a break, which means that's ridiculous, that's funny, that's outrageous, that's something unbelievable, you can't believe that thing. For example, here you want me to pay $3 for one cocky, give me a break, this is too much, means too much, means this is ridiculous, it's something that is unbelievable. So example number two, Expect me to believe that excuse, give me a break. So when someone who is too late for not applying or handling his own um, homework, 
and he is too late and he doesn't have a real believable and sensible cause or excuse, then I tell him, give me a break. Come on, I can't believe this, right? It's the same thing. But you have to be taken into consideration and know that you might see this written in its formal, informal or conversational form. Give me, so the V here, it's actually embedded into M. It's actually merged into M. So it's gonna be give me, give me. Why? Because the V sounds, place of articulation, it's pretty much the same as M. Both of them are very close to each other because of V, it has to do with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, with the teeth. It is produced with the teeth and M is bilabial. So they are merged into one sound and give me a break instead of give me, right? So give me a break. It's a very informal way of telling that kind of uh, exclamation sentence. And if you keep on going down here, we do have go ahead. Go ahead is to give you a green light, green light, which means to continue to proceed, to keep on going and keep doing that thing. It's a permission to do something. So example number one here, we have more than enough food for dinner. Go ahead and invite your friends to join us. Then you are allowed to ask your and invite your friend to join us. It's a kind of a permission to do something. In the world of politics, we call it green light. So example number two, let's go ahead and buy our plane tickets now. So probably you should be thinking of the word go ahead and then it can be used as a noun in the expression to give somebody the go ahead, to give the somebody the go ahead, to give the somebody a permission, you know, a permission to move forward with an activity to proceed to continue doing something. So if you show me a part of your own uh, assignments and I like it, and I always tell you, I'll always tell you, go ahead, keep on moving, you're doing a good job. Um, head over heels, over heels in love, head over heels in love, very much in love. So when you find a lot of, uh, like a couple are trying, um, and very romantic and they like each other, they understand each other completely, we call them, they are very much in love, they like each other very much, they like each other a lot. Example number one, during the first years of their marriage, Brad and Jennifer, Brad and Jennifer, we're head over heels in love. We're very much in love. They love each other a lot and they have a great love story. Sarah is head over heels in love with Mark. Fortunately, he doesn't even know her name. And we call it one-sided love. A love that is only from one person. All right, first, uh, love at first sight and immediate attraction. So when you see a person and you like him so much or you like her so much, and we call it love at first sight, but uh, from my own experience, that's gonna be something that is not accurate. You should not pay more attention for that thing. Anyway, example number one, it took Allison several months to fall in love with Carl. It wasn't first love at first sight, which uh, I mean, it was not the first time he met her. It's all, it took him months to understand her character. Example number two, Tani like Tara immediately. So the words immediately definitely goes with the love at first sight. So love at first sight is a love that happens at the first meeting. You love the external uh, beauty of a girl or of a man. You don't know the character yet. And then we go for make out. Make out to kiss with much passion. Make out is to uh, indulge your full of your feelings and your uh, emotions inside that kind of uh, interaction. And the uh, example here, Ted and Amber start making out at the spot stop light and didn't realize that the real light had, green, had turned green. So the spot stop light, the place where you stop your own car before the traffic lights, and wait for the red lights to turn into a green one, and we call it stop light. Note, make out also means to manage something and to understand with difficulty. So finally, you manage to understand mathematics. Mathematics is difficult and you need more time to understand and takes you more time to manage the equations and stuff. 
To understand it with difficulty, the same thing here, it was foggy. I could barely make out the street signs. Uh, literature is a kind of a, a kind of difficult literary works and it takes me more time to make it out, right? To make it out, to understand it, but with difficulty. Uh, number three is to prepare a check with the other payments. Please make out a check for this month's print. Make out is to give, to sign out, to give a paper of a check in order to be ready for payment. يعني بمعنى إصدار شيك إصدار شيك. When someone is nuts about something or he's crazy about something, which means he likes it very much. If you love uh, any kind of movie, a kind of celebrity, and you actually follow all of his movies, then you are nuts about. For example, here Ted has every single Metallica album. He's nuts about that band. For example, some people here love uh, the singer Amr Diab, for example, and he has every single song that he sings, then he is not about, about Amr Diab. Number two here, example number two, we're just nuts about our neighbors. They have them over dinners once a month. So they do these things repeatedly once a month. They do it every single month, which is a lot of communication and connection. The same synonyms is about crazy about, crazy about. All right, well, then we have one track mind, one track mind having all thoughts directed just one thing or activity focused on one thing so when you have one thing to do you're focusing on your own exams you're focusing on your uh, study you don't have time for other relationships and we call you one track mind you only focus on one road one way one track for example ryan thinks about football all the time He's got a one track mind. So he only loves football and nothing else. He only focuses on the game of football. Example number two, Mia has a one track mind. She thinks about boys all the time. So she doesn't think of something else, which makes her think on only one thing. Blug away. Blug away at something to proceed with a boring or routine task to keep trying so once you have um, a game for example and you have a lot of work you can think of doing something new you just keep repeating the same thing because you already bored what are you doing at that time blogging away blogging away doing something with boredom doing something with boredom uh, the same here when he is, was trying to do 80 842 more cookies to bake. Let's keep blogging away. So let's keep repeating, doing, keep trying all the time, but of course with boredom because you have to finish that thing. Number two here, don't give up the chemistry class. If you keep blogging away, you will eventually learn the material. So do not do it with boredom. You have to understand it. Exactly with details, not just repeating things with not any kind of attention. And take a break. Of course, take a break is to give a break for you and your partner, right? Or probably after a long lesson, you take a break, of, you take a rest, and then you come back to finish what you have been doing earlier. And treat someone like dirt to behave in a nasty way, in a badly way, in a very rude way towards someone, to treat someone poorly, rudely. Probably he is annoying, so you wanna try um, to get rid of him, so you deal with him poorly and nasty way. For example, here, nobody was surprised when Nicole's boyfriend broke up with her since she treated him like dirt. She treated him badly. She treated him poorly. And she was so mean to him, that's why she broke after a while. Example number two. I feel sorry for Jeffrey. The kids at school are very nasty to him. They really treat him like dirt. Pretty much the same as the other, other ones. 
So this is the end of the idioms and uh, let's go back to the conversation. And the conversation here is between Amber and Ted. For example here, Ted, when I met you, it was love at first sight. Love at first sight. From the first meeting, love from the first meeting. I was nuts about you. I was crazy about you from the beginning too. Amber, don't forget, I broke up with that girl, Tiffany, after I met you, right? He put an end for relationship with Tiffany and he started a new one with Amber. Come here and give me a kiss. Give me a break, Amber. Don't do it right now, I'm busy. Give me a break, give me a rest. We don't have time for that now. We need to crank out these cookies. We need to finish these cookies as much as soon as possible. You don't really love me, do you? And this is a question tag to confirm that whether he loves her or not. Amber, I am head over heels in love with you, but it's a crunch time with these cookies. So I don't have time for that. I am head over heels in love with you. I love you very much. I love you nothing more than anything in this world. So this is a, a, an expression that express a much of love, right? But the crunch time, it's a very specific short period of time and a lot of work and a lot of pressure that has to be accomplished very soon. Cookies, cookies, cookies. You've got one track mind. You only focus on cookies. He loves cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's trying to sing it in order to piss him off, to make him angry. Amber, I need to keep working. You can take a break if you want. Take a break. No, I'll keep blogging away. Blogging away is to do something in a routine way with boredom. I'm just your cookie slave which is a kind of irony here because she's trying to tell him that she's working so hard for him. Go ahead, you have the green light, go ahead. Treat me like dirt. Treat me in a bad way. Treat me uh, poorly. Treat me uh, rudely. Sorry, Amber, come here and let me give you a quick kiss. Susan now interferes in this kind of romantic moment and the Susan enters the kitchen. Susan, hey, what's going on in here? Are you two making cookies or making out? Are you guys trying to make business here or are you guys trying to uh, make love to each other? All right, so if you guys now go back down to um, end of the conversation, you will definitely find um a couple of questions if you look at them at home and uh, we will uh, definitely discuss these things on the zoom meeting thank you for your watching and uh, we will catch with you sooner as soon as we can finish this lesson thank you so much and uh, i'll see you next time if you have any questions please prepare them for the Zoom meeting. Thank you and take care.